Your mom, obviously, she lost her husband. She lost a grandchild in the shootings. Uh, she describes her feelings that night, the night of the shootings, as vacant. And you describe that her vacancy lasted for months, leading to several health problems. Uh, while your mom's mind was vacant, your own mind seems to have been reeling. And you kept pl playing and replaying those day's events over and over and over again. So you obviously experienced a very different set of initial reactions and you were again grieving differently. Why do you think some of us react so differently to the same events? I think that as humans we react to trauma or something that happens that shakes us or is a disruption based on past experiences and how we experiences we might have had in the past and then what we learned from that, like maybe a pre-challenge. So I had experiences in my life that were not at all close to this, th this tragedy, but I had experiences in my life that were embarrassing, that were humiliating, that made me sweat and turn red all over. I mean, I, I had a lot of life experiences with, you know, corporate, you know, corporate people opening a business teaching in front of people. I mean, I just all these experiences, whereas my mom had experiences in theater, but she also didn't feel at that point in time as independent as I was. Mm -hmm. And she lost her life partner. They started dating when she was in high school and they were in high school and, and they were partners from that time forward. So I think she literally felt like she would not survive without him.